Hey guys, what up? Welcome to video 4.1 and we're going to be checking out the wingman situation. So hopefully everyone knows what a wingman is. If you do not, then feel free to check out the next, um, you can go straight to the next video. But um, if, for those of you who need a quick rundown on how to be a wingman or how to make sure you have a wingman, then um, you can stay. So basic guide to wingmanning uh, your wingman is your bro he's got your back whenever you're trying to get with a chick or he's trying to get with a chick um, so your main responsibility is to make sure that if he's hooking up with an uglier chick it is your job to let him know if you're hooking up with an uglier chick it is his job to let you know um, that is probably your number one responsibility. Let them know um, what they're getting into. If they say leave it alone, then who are you to stop them? So another responsibility you have is catching grenades. So say your boy, he's talking to a pretty solid chick. She's probably like a solid eight, maybe a seven or an eight. And you know uh, damn well he's trying to get it in. And all of a sudden, you have this hippo. Not, it could not even be a hippo. It could just be something that crawled out from the depths of hell. And she is trying to either get up on your friend or trying to get up um, into the, the girl's business. And they are probably friends. And um, the creature wants to go home or something. It is now your responsibility to make sure you jump on the grenade, make sure it doesn't explode in your boy's face. So that is just a basic rundown of what a grenade um, is and how to stop it. So, or so how to stop it? Do everything in your power to make sure she doesn't really latch on to her friend or your friend. Your immediate responsibility is to go over and talk to her, offer to buy her a drink, offer to dance, offer to do anything, depending on the situation. If you're at the bar, at the club, um, or even at the beach, you make sure that um, you are talking to her and making her feel pretty. And I know it's a little bit deceiving, um, but you got to help your boy out. And so, say that happens probably the first night, and you're in the bar, and that happens, and hopefully he gets the score and you just um, until she until you know that he's kind of gone um, give it a probably I want to say about 30 minutes just because at that point um, it could probably take him like maybe 10 or 15 or maybe even 20 minutes to get into the hotel hopefully they're already down to business so if so when you kind of ditch the grenade and she um, starts calling and calling and calling um, the friend they're already down to business so there's really nothing you can do um, and at that point your job is done you can go try and hook up with another chick if she does follow you it's time to dip out of there and go to another bar or club to either call a taxi or call up another one of your boys and make sure um, you're out of there real quick now second night let's say you're trying to get with a hot chick and there's a grenade um, you set up a, like a call or a signal like maybe like a um, like a like three times that lets him know hey um, come help me because he should know damn well that you got him the, the night before so he has to get you now. It's it's bro code, and now it's his turn to be a wingman. So he's got to jump on it, do whatever he can, and you got to lay down the rest of the magic. So I know all of you may not be totally adequate enough in talking to women. So let's actually um, the next video will probably be a little long, and I'll try and teach you guys how. Um, to talk to them 
So let's hop on over there and we're actually going to learn how to talk to the ladies at the bars or at the beach, at the clubs, wherever. So let's hop on right over there.